Ladies and gentlemen, now the presentation of the award ceremony. Moses Moody! Andre Iguodala! been waiting for this day for a long time it's opening day in the NBA thanks everyone for joining us here in the start of a new season and tonight we'll see the Golden State Warriors they'll go up against the Los Angeles Lakers and our broadcast team tonight Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right and the Hall of Famer David Aldridge along the sideline here are the starters for Los Angeles Kate Cunningham out there at Bogdanovich. And it's LeBron James. And there's Porzingis. And for the Warriors, they've got Jared Allen. Paul out there with Clay Thompson. Then there's Williamson. And it's a Kogi in at the three, the small forward. You can feel the excitement for the new season. And Greg, when you were playing, is there an opening game that really stands out in your mind? Back in 95, I think it was, I mean, we started the season with back-to-back with -back wins. And the team was feeling good. Then we uh, promptly lost 21 straight. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Cunningham looking it over. Back to Bogdanovich. Six to shoot. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Paul with the ball for the Warriors. This, of course, their first opportunity to play the Lakers. Yeah, and last year they had major trouble with these guys. I'm not sure how it happened, but they didn't win a single game against them. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Back to James. Cunningham against Paul. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Chris Paul picks up that one. Well, you look at the county numbers for Cade Cunningham. He, he fills up a stat sheet. The key for him moving forward, though, he pitches. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws here for the night. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team from the line last year. good from Cunningham and you talk about Cade's efficiency Craig on a struggling team that can be a challenge yeah without great shooters around him he's forced into taking tough shots or turnovers and as the team improves though I think the percentages should come around and so Cunningham nails both of them probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Hey, I talked to the Lakers head coach. Well, there's no question this team can shoot the ball. That's the philosophy he's instilled here. 
long-range shooters they've got, he wants them to move the ball from one side of the floor to the other and then take that first open look that's available. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And Thompson sends it back. Don't let Clay Thompson's scoring overshadow what he gives you at the deepest of end. No good from outside. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out contested. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. Here's Paul following the basket by Kate Cunningham. Williamson, the pass to Okogi. And again, no good by Golden State. For Los Angeles, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. A three from Bogdanovich. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. This one for three. And Bogdanovich, the bucket on the assist by Cunningham. Let me tell you, the three-point shot of Bogdan, it is money in this league. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Starting at the age of 18, Bogdan spent the first seven seasons of his career playing international for teams in Serbia and Turkey. Warriors, Dance Team. Golden State's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Thompson outside. Looking to end the run. And that one is off. Nice D from Porzingis. And, and with Bogdanovich, Smitty, he was drafted back in 2014, but didn't come to the NBA until the 2017-18 campaign. The reason why, Greg, he was too busy winning internationally. Seven league titles, not to mention countless individual honors. Here's Allen. After the basket by Bogdan Bogdanovich. Williamson trying to free himself up. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Cunningham on the wing. Bogdanovich looking around. To the middle. And it's sent back by Allen. And how about, and with that great length and awareness, Allen continues to build his reputation as a shot blocker. In the corner, it's James. Shoots from the block. And it's sent back by Allen. Here's Paul. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Chris Paul did a nice job of using angles on that play. Got himself to the free throw line. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Lakers. What they've done is they've looked to push the pace and transition early. And it's paid dividends with their fast break points. And another thing, guys, they've been very active tonight. Frequently creating scoring opportunities off turnovers. And that one falls for Paul. Expectations for the Lakers are always high. And it's led to some disappointment in the past few seasons. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. Now here's James. Three-pointer. That ball. Nice LeBron. speed that time from Bogdanovich. The Free jumper ball. of LeBron looking more and more pure. Bad news for the rest of the league. Yeah, a lot of disappointment. The Lakers built a roster, Steve, of some of the most proven veteran players in the league, too. And when healthy, that pays big dividends. But if those vets lose time to injury, it can be tough to have success. We've seen that happen in L.A., Kevin. Here's LeBron. Zion Williamson making his last shot. Bogdanovich passes to LeBron. Stolen. Williamson outside. From down in the low post, it goes. I admire the defender's ambition, but Zion's artful work inside gets him the shot. LeBron passes to Cunningham. Here's Bogdanovich. Right side, Berzingis. That one good for two. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Passes it to a Kogi. Bogdanovich against Thompson. 
at the elbow. It's Allen. Williamson trying to free himself up. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Second personal foul. Second and he's got his first chance at the line here. The and a shooter's checked in for Los Angeles. Jared Allen. Shooting one. And that one falls for Allen. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. Paul passes to Thompson. Golden State moving it around. Takes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Thompson's got five points so far. And so it's Schroeder with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. So the Lakers call timeout their first. And there's a lot you can say about Golden State's offensive abilities, but their defense is also razor sharp. They know how to control the flow. Warriors 16. Dominguez come in for Zion Williamson. Muhammad Baba, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Walker comes in for Bogdanovich. Thompson against Walker. Schroeder outside. James trying to free himself up. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And some might go as far, Greg, as saying Golden State's defense is underrated. It is kind of overlooked at times. And, and their shooting is so exceptional. It hides everything else. Like how they can dominate the glass defensively. And this will be his second and third shot to the line here. And the first one drops. Hachimura, he's checked in for James. And Allen drops them both. And Steve, for a lot of reasons, last year was a very frustrating season for the Lakers. Reason why Kevin, LeBron, and AD were out for extended periods. Russell Westbrook didn't really fit in at first. They missed the playoffs. Keep in mind, lots of people picked the Lakers to win it all. Now, here's Walker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Thompson. GA with their fourth title. The combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green. The single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. And the first one at the line is good. He's off on the second. The Warriors trailing. Kaminga the pass to Thompson. Here's Allen. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now here's Walker. Now here is Hetchumer. Back to Walker. Down to five on the shot clock. Los Angeles with another miss. Rzingis with the steal. Over Allen. Jared Allen grabs the miss. 
high percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Paul passes to Thompson. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. Basketball. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. The Lakers making a switch here. Malik. Beasley's checked in. Los Angeles has gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. Schroeder against Paul. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Drawing contact inside. Dennis Schroeder using his reach and quickness to compensate for his height disadvantage. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That's good from Schroeder. And you know, Dennis Schroeder, from the moment he came into the league, showed tremendous confidence. He's never been the type to back down. Schroeder hits them both. The Warriors have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. Out to the right wing. Down low. It's stolen by Kaminga. Allen surveying the D. Thompson from long range. Bangs on the trifecta. Thompson's got eight points. And talk about playing to your strengths. Getting Thompson a look from the corner. That's as bankable as almost any play you can call. And the Lakers call time here. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these others. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Let's hear it for your Warriors Junior Chin Squad. Here's Bamba. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Beasley kicks it over to Schroeder. Lakers working the ball around now. And the pass to Bamba. He dishes it to Schroeder. Five on the clock. Here's Hachimura. And they convert it last on attempt number three. And his coaches and teammates love that. They want Hachimura getting after it more on that offensive glass. Now here's Paul. 141 left in the first quarter. Back to Thompson. Paul passes to Kaminga. Thompson for three. Here's Allen. Up and in on the way. He's got nine. We've got 123 left to play in the first. Outside, Walker. Schroeder outside. And it's sent back by Allen. And he recovers it. Rebound by Okogi. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. Schroeder against Allen. Pass to Paul. Launches a three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Schroeder. Outside, Walker. Schroeder up top, defended by Paul. Seven second difference, shot in game clock. Rips down the breakaway slam. As a distributor, Paul is just a machine. He's constantly creating for his guys. Lakers trail by six. Beasley outside. Pass to Walker. They can't stop the run with that one to the paint, and it's the Warriors on the break, and he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. 
happen. And don't look Your now, but foul. they're starting to Long extend this board. lead. They're doing it by building it out, Keep step board. by step, valuing each line. possession. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Oh, you know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Beasley with a clean look, and again, no good by the Lakers. And so it's the Golden State Warrior in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. so far halfway through the first half in this one and a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Warriors well it's tough to score when you're getting stuffed on every attempt great job getting the hands up so far making life difficult on shooters and another thing they've done so well is convert fast break opportunities great job trusting their guys and getting those easy ones so with Paul on the bench here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor We've got Williamson. Thompson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Kavon Looney. And it's a Kogi in at the three. And the Lakers with possession here. Zion Williamson unable to get his last shot to go. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Warriors with the rebound. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above seven feet. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. D.A., thanks. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7-2 and up, not great. And, and today's game demands more movement from big men than ever before. Here's DiVincenzo following the basket by three steps Porzingis. And that one's good, Williamson. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Outside, Bogdanovich. This is it to Cunningham. Back to Bogdanovich. That's in, coming off the assist from Cunningham. Assist. And it's nine points for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Warriors leading by four. The pass to Okogi. And here is Williamson. Goodbye, Porzingis. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And as incredible as Zion Williamson has been and is the big problem, Greg, is keeping him ready to play. His health. And there have been all sorts of opinions chiming in on whether he can play at a high weight. But the bottom line is something needs to happen to keep him healthy. He's lost too much time early in his career. That free throw good from Williamson. Zion Williamson has a very unique game and body. Uh, when you look at him on the floor, what do the optics, Steve, tell you about him? Well, my eyes tell me he's like Shaq, the big diesel, because few guys in NBA history can just out-muscle their opponents. Skill-wise, at that size, he is one of one. Greg, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers? so to speak. You know, Kevin, it's a, a great question because somebody's going to put up points or, or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing people. The dish to James. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. Back to LeBron. 
And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. First tremendous body control. LeBron takes the hit, sinks the shot, and gets a chance to add another point to his total. Hard to believe, Greg, last season, LeBron missing the playoffs for just the third time in his career. And Kevin, it almost felt surreal to not have him in the playoffs. I mean, this guy's been a fixture in the postseason for almost two decades now. Just another bullet on LeBron's incredible resume. Free throw good, LeBron. Golden State. Well, we know we're in the later stages of his career, but Steve, it's just simply incredible. Mind-boggling, really, how athletic LeBron James remains. Kevin, to put it frankly, we've never seen anything like this. He's still getting up with ease for some vicious throwdowns. A testament to how hard he works. And the Warriors making a change here. Allen's checked in. Ball kicks to DiVincenzo. Williamson in the post. Guarded by Porzingis. And stolen by Bogdanovich. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Here's Williamson. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Williamson's got 10 points in the game. The explosiveness gets Zion through the contact. Defender didn't stand a chance. Porzingis against Williamson. That's good, and the Warrior lead has cut back down to three on the basket from Chris Stapps, Porzingis. And bringing the aggression and the energy, two things you like to see from Porzingis. Pass to Kaminga. DiVincenzo against Bogdanovich. Here's Allen. Williamson trying to free himself up. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, the Lakers moving the ball around. Count that bucket. And it's now only a one-point Warrior lead. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Golden State. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Persingas has got six rebounds now in the game. Bogdanovich, no luck. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. DiVincenzo passes to Kaminga. Ball left side. Pass to Allen. Williamson trying to free himself up. Doesn't go for him. For Los Angeles, they've gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Oh, great ball movement there. Golden State's gone 0 or 3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. To the inside, Allen laid in with a nice touch yeah, off the glass. Yeah, yeah. Allen's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Not much else you can do. Sometimes Allen is going to score no matter how you defend him. Cunningham outside. Pass to LeBron. Just five on the clock. Let's it go from deep. The Lakers rebound. Tries yet again. There's Persingas. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Gary Payton has checked in for the Warriors. That free throw good from Porzingis. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. Three-pointer, Peyton, and a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Peyton's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Cunningham dishes it to Bogdanovich. There's the pass to James. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Peyton passes to Allen. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Ball against Cunningham. 
once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. Peyton finds Williamson. Back to Peyton. Takes a three. And another three for Golden State. Staying unselfish, keeping your eyes up. So important for a young player. Zion, mature beyond his years. Now, here's Cunningham. Shot to stop the run. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Allen's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Paul kicks to Kaminga. Three-pointer, Peyton. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to James. Cunningham with it. Outside, Bogdanovich. Over Peyton. Los Angeles with another miss. Warriors leading by five. Williams and dishes to Kaminga. Pass to Peyton. Here's the three. Peyton can't get that one to fall. Los Angeles has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Nice shot by Porzingis. Keep getting it to this man. I mean, once Porzingis catches fire, there is no putting that out. Now, here's Kaminga. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Ooh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Lakers trail by five. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And the Lakers call time here. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kavon Looney comes in for Allen. And it's Thompson in for Jonathan Kaminga. On defense, the Warriors. Schroeder finds James. Back to Schroeder. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. They did a better job of getting it inside in that first. They lost some of that physical edge here. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Yeah, and he wasn't someone you wanted to foul if you were defending him last season. 85% is what he made from the line. That's good from Schroeder. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and it extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect in the line so far here in the second quarter. Now, here's Looney. Thompson for three. Here's Williamson. And the rejection by James. Great positioning by LeBron and timing on that block shot. Picks it out to Beasley. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got five assists tonight. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And the Lakers with possession here. LeBron outside. And the Lakers check on two more. Assertive play from LeBron in the paint. Winning himself a high percentage look. Peyton outside. To stop the run. There's Looney. Good work defensively by Hatchimer. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Lakers basketball. Fifty-six seconds left to play here in the half. Easily for three, and no good that time. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Paul with the ball now, guarded by Schroeder. Here's Williamson. Pamba with the block. Uh, 
the main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. Warriors trail by three. Goes up to the stripe. It's stolen by Hachimura. Passes to LeBron. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Schroeder outside. Back to LeBron. Out to the right wing. There's the triple. And it's Schroeder missing. On the wing, Peyton. Just three on the clock. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist from Peyton. That's ten points for Clay Thompson. A big time effort for Fuzingas, providing a lot of energy for the Lakers. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball uh, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, and our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. There was no stopping Kristaps Porzingis in the first half. He had 13 points, three block shots, and eight rebounds. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles their last time out. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. You have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second game. But tonight, they've been the key. Coach Stab has got to be loving this. Getting that extra boost is huge. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Warriors? They just keep giving the ball away. That's not how you win. I understand this defense is giving them problems being disruptive. If they can just cut down on the turnovers, I think they can win this game. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. finish based on how close of a game it's been so far listen others yes defensively what they've done they funnel people his way and banking on his ability to intimidate and we've got second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game so the lakers five right now we've got cunningham Chris Depp's Porzingis is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Bogdanovich. They just can't get stopped against this guy. Zion, too strong and too athletic. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assists. Second all-time in career assist percentage. And he looks far from done. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Warriors. It's a one-point game. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williamson. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. The Lakers shooting 43% for the game. And great, what separates Paul from the other two guys that have more career assists is that Paul also averaged 18 points a game. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. The Warriors shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. A pass to Okogi. Back to Williamson. Can't hit that one. Nice D from Porzingis. LeBron outside. Cunningham against Paul. From 12 feet out. And again, no good by the Lakers. Ooh, they've come out of ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. The Lakers trade. 
Here's Bogdanovich. That one a little long. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. And the shot goes down. Bogdanovich has got 14 points for the game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Now here's Allen. He's got 13. Thompson for the triple. Connects from three-point range. He's got 13. There's that signature jumper. Clay Thompson with the picture-perfect mechanics. Williamson with the block. And so it looks like the Lakers will to take possession here. Dominguez coming in for Williamson. Javon Minga. And a wide open look for Cunningham. He got it from 16 feet. Cunningham's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. If you're the defense, you have to know where Cunningham is at all times. Pass to Thompson from deep three-point range. Another three for Golden State. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes that. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. And here's Cunningham after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Poked away. Just five to shoot. Right through the D for the layup. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Cunningham outside. Back to James. And James throws it down. Beautiful pass. At his size, Cunningham sees the whole floor. Ball passes to Kaminga. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. 14 points for him. Good on the triple. Not bad defense, but you give him an inch and he'll bury you. Pass to Okogi. It's Allen on the wing. Ball passes to Okogi. They need this. A rebound by the Lakers. Persingas has got 11 rebounds in the game. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing. Really keeping things simple. But what a pass by Bogdanovich. Sending it straight to the wide open man. And here are the Warriors now. After the basket by Los Angeles. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the one he's had tonight. It's incredible. And I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to his game than threes and dunks. Now here's Paul after LeBron James's miss. Here's Allen. And he wills that yeah. one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Showing a lot of confidence on that shot. Allen's assertiveness here is terrific. Cunningham against Paul. Outside Bogdanovich. Six on the shot clock from deep LeBron. Thompson with the rebound. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three and that was in the first half. Golden State moving it around. Passes it to Okogi. Launches it. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. Having a monster night from beyond the arc. He had two bombs in the first half. Now three, four sets. Los Angeles calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time Man, for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Uh, that's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. 
If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Paul. Here's Kaminga. Another three for Golden State. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stakes for the Warriors? Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands, causing a lot of steals. And they've also shown great effort defensively tonight. They closed out on shooters and really got their hands up on multiple shots. Looney with the bucket. Oh, Terrific oh, work oh. inside from Looney. He continues to get more comfortable down there. Lakers trail by four. Schroeder finds Walker. And it's out of bounds. Last oh. touch by Thompson. Lakers basketball. on D. Walker the pass to Bamba. Shot clock at six. Here's Hachimura. It's good. Really? And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by Golden State. Warriors have gone 7-13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. The pass to Thompson. Takes the three. Here's Allen. The layup off target. LA has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Schroeder outside. Pass to Hachimura. There's three pointers off the mark. On offense, here are the Warriors. Big stretch here going 10 2. And Lonnie Walker picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Przingis. Allen passes to Thompson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Muhammad Bamba. And his teammates love this. When Allen is aggressive trying to score, really puts the pressure on the opposing defense. He's made all three of his free throws so far. That free throw good from Allen. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. Lakers trail by three. Here's Walker. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And here's Golden State. Big run right now going for him, 11-2. And it's Beasley in the corner. Count it. Beasley's got five now. Timeout called the Warriors. And coach most likely wants to address their turnover issues. The offense looks forced right now, rush. There's no synergy to it. They have to find a way to work together and remain aggressive without making mistakes. Zion Williamson's checked in for the Warriors. Gary Payton comes in for Jonathan Kaminga. Williamson, the best to DiVincenzo. Now Looney. Williamson up top. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Kessler. There's that rare combination of power and athleticism. Hard to stop Zion without fouling. The Warriors have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Two shots. That free throw good from Williamson. so he makes both from the line. What you respect about Zion, he's not trying to flex on everyone. He sees the big picture on the court and in the public eye. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. 
the Lakers have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. Walker the fourth. Two shots. Free throw good from Walker. And so Walker nails both of them. And the Warriors with possession here. They lead by one. Peyton passes to DiVincenzo. And the foul Burns called on Kavon Looney. Kavon Looney. That'll be his second foul second of the game. Foul. First team foul. Los Angeles has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Defended by Looney. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Six points for him. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Peyton kicks to DiVincenzo. Pass to Thompson. Jacks up a three. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter. Looking to extend the lead. Easily outside. Let's the three fly. Buries it from three-point range. Beasley. Beasley's got five points, points in the quarter. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now, here's Peyton. Six points for him. And it's Williamson missing. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Defended by Looney. Nobody near Schroeder. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Typically playing the role of catalyst. This time, Schroeder's the one who gets set up. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. DiVincenzo finds Thompson. Back to DiVincenzo. Here's Williamson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Williamson at the line for two. That free throw, no good. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Outside, Bogdanovich. Can't hit from 12. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Lakers on top. The Lakers. As they wrap up the third quarter on a 14-6 run. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Game control. Come on now. Every pass, every possession. Play with a purpose. We talked about this, all right? Solid play every time. Right now. Come on. Oh, some fire in Coach Kerr's voice right there. Greg demanding his team kick it up a notch. How about the intensity from the coach there? Less than happy with his team's effort right now. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Peyton is out there with Chris Paul. Then it's Kavon Looney. Then it's Thompson. And it's a Kogi in at the four slot. That's the Warriors' five. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. 
You know we have to see that great mobile one drive one more time. That's an incredible move by him on what's been an impressive night all around. Porzingis finds Bogdanovich at the Porzingis from the arc. They get a bet. Persistence from LeBron James refusing to give up. Gotta love his activity. Thompson outside. Here's a Kogi. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. A Kogi's got four points now in the quarter. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Now, here's Cunningham. Shoots from the line. Three seconds left, and the shot is good. And the Lakers lead by four. And talk about persistence. Porzingis just being a bully on the offensive glass and punishing the opposition. Thompson for the triple. The Lakers with the rebound. Porzingis has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Outside Bogdanovich. Passes it to Cunningham. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Pocket six. That one falls. Now it's a six-point Los Angeles lead. Defense gets all up in Cunningham's personal space, but he stays strong and gets to the inside. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And here's Przingis for a three. Off the mark for the fourth time this game. He is 7 for 11 now. Thompson from long range. And another three for Golden State. Clay Thompson is really putting in the work on the offensive end, trying to make a big impact on the scoreboard. Outside Bogdanovich. Cunningham outside. Here's James. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Cunningham against Paul. Thompson left side. And stolen by James. Now the pass to Persingas. It's not going to go for him. And Golden State will go the other way with it. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Hey, continue to stack it up for three. He's got two in each half so far. Timeout called the Warriors. Bogdan Bogdanovich really making a difference here. Yeah, they're going to have to find a way to run him off his spots out there. He is rolling. The Warriors making a switch here. Allen's checked in. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, guys. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the last timeout. He warned them they've got to get back in transition. He said they've given up way too many fast break points. And he said we have to slow Load the pace of the game down and force them into taking some tough shots. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps, Porzingis. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. It counts, and the foul. It's on Porzingis. He's one of the best in the business, Chris Paul. A phenomenal ball handler. Quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific. Doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. I love the effort level Chris Paul delivers day in and day out. He's been doing this for a while now, but he hasn't slowed down, not a bit. Aganovich, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. And here is Paul. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. It remains Golden State basketball.
Allen in the post, working on James. Allen inside, James covering. Allen, that's good. Allen's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles. They host the Clippers after this game. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Showing why he's an elite talent. Porzingis making difficult physical finishes look effortless. Porzingis, one shot. A free throw off from Porzingis. Golden State's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Here's a Kogi. By Porzingis. Nice to see Looney getting involved with the slam there. An athletic player who provides some muscle for them around the ring. LeBron with it. Cunningham outside to the wing right side. Porzingis finds Cunningham. Count it. Good. Cunningham's got four points in the quarter. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Awesome rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Paul passes to Thompson to take the lead. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his eighth assist here tonight. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Now here's LeBron. Second shot opportunity, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Shooting one. And that one misses. Warriors have gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth, 8 of 12. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Zion Williamson's checked in for Golden State. Zion Williamson! Here's Cunningham. And the foul. Jared Allen. It's on Jared Allen. Second and when you foul Cunningham, you really got to whack him or he still figures out how to score. And like a lot of top picks, Kay Cunningham had to deal with some adversity in his rookie season. Greg, he had been part of winning teams for his entire life. He was introduced to just how competitive the NBA is. But he says What's it's up? only sharpened his focus. good from Cunningham. The first overall pick in the 2021 draft, K. Cunningham is a special talent. Lots to like about his game. Now here's Paul. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Second team foul. At the line for the Warriors, Jared Allen. Two shots. throw good Allen and Allen drops them both Los Angeles has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter Paul with the steal an easy two points on the lead. Paul's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. It's not enough to be in attack mode. You have to know how to attack. Chris Paul finding the soft spot in that defense. Now here's James. Mr. Persingas. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. 
Thompson's got rebound number five with her tonight. Paul passes to Allen. Great tee that time from James. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Cunningham dishes it to LeBron. The defense is all over LeBron, so he gets physical to ensure he's fouled while shooting. Shooting for Los Angeles, LeBron James. Taking two and he can't get the first one. And the second free throw, good. You know he wanted to knock down all his shots at the line, but he still did enough to put them in front. Paul passes to Okogi. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Ron right side. The tray. That ball. Nice oh, speed that time for Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got his Timeout fifth Warriors. assist in this one. Timeout called the Warriors. Bogdan Bogdanovich really making a difference here. Good decision to regather. Talk it over. Your main concern now is how to slow this guy down on the offensive end. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Kristaps Porzingis. And when he's been on the floor, it has been a clinic in rim protection and shot blocking. He's played the defense of three men tonight. His block total has gotten to a point you almost never see in an NBA game. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Inside. And the dunk by Porzingis. It's empowering to play with LeBron because if you get open, he will find you. Warriors trail by six. Now here's Paul. Here's Williamson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Kate Cunningham. Oh, the, the officials are all over that. Line for the Warriors. Zion Williamson taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the strike. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much riding on Cunningham kicks to Bogdanovich. Cunningham passes to James. And the three off target. Warriors trail by four. Two minutes remaining in the game. Paul with the buckets. I love seeing Chris Paul come alive on these possessions. He's an exceptional shooter who does not back away in big moments. Now here's LeBron over Williamson. James, no good. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter of this one. That shot is in, just like six others have been for him. He's shooting seven for 15. Big one. Coach feels comfortable going to Zion when it matters. They get a hand on it. Here we go, one on one. Here's Allen. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And how about the focus from Allen? He's just powering through the physical defense and finding a way to score. Team score. At the line for the Warriors. Jared Allen. At the line for one. Allen, no good on the free throw. And if you're the other team, you're fine fouling Allen. Now, let's see if he can make a pay. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no cover. Ball passes to Williamson. 
somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. And now a four-point warrior lead. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're trailing by four. 109 left to play in the final quarter. Makes the noise for your Warriors 16. And here is Los Angeles now. Here's James. Almost, but it rolls out. Here's a Kogi. And stolen by LeBron. Here's Persingas. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. It's all about Porzingis' accuracy. That's what will make or break him here. Two shots. the first and that narrows the lead down to just three and he cannot convert on the second that misses if he hits all of those they're feeling a lot more comfortable but now still a one possession game Back to Thompson. Pass to Paul. Allen outside. Five to shoot. Here's Thompson. The second effort. It falls! Competitive, confident Zion taking over. And so James will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by five. 27 seconds left in the game. And get ready to move. And welcome out your Warriors 16. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Cunningham outside. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's Golden State's ball. They're on a 16-7 run. And now we've got the intentional foul. Third personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Warriors. Clay Thompson. At the line for two. First free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can handle the second. Overcoming adversity on the injury front. Clay Thompson's one of the tougher players in this league, both mentally and physically. And the second of two is good. That increases their lead to six. There's 14 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. James outside. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Angeles, so they foul That's intentionally. Porzingis. Third personal foul. Team is in the penalty. At the line for the Warriors. Jared Allen. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. Now Thomas outside. Walker on deep. Off target with that shot. So we see the Warriors get the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win.
And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, thanks very much, Clay. You had it going tonight. Now, when you are that hot, what are you trying to do on the court? Uh, took a couple bad shots, a couple heat checks, but they went in tonight. Fortunately, when you got the hot hand, you're just looking for that little ounce of space. Because all you need is an inch or two, and that thing's just flicking off the wrist so easy, and it just happened to be one of those nights. That leads to one of those wins for your team, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.